Hey, podcaster. I'm Tim Wahlberg, your podcast performance coach, with another actionable tip so you can sound like a pro and gain more podcast fans. Today's tip is protect your podcast from being hijacked. I'm not talking tech here. I'm not talking about someone hacking iTunes or Libsyn and replacing your audio with past episodes of Knight Rider. Although I'd probably listen. Podcast hijacking is different. It's when a guest you've invited on your show takes over and doesn't let you do your job. These are podcast bullies. They come in and bulldoze their way through your episode and do so with their own agenda in mind. They've turned your show into their own platform or soapbox. Another way you might be hijacked is by a time thief. However, this might be unintentional, but someone who rambles on and takes forever to tell their story or get their point across can be just as frustrating. So here are five ways to save your podcast from being hijacked. Number one, don't open the door and say, hello, here are the keys to my podcast. Please hijack it. Avoid saying this to your podcast guest. Tell us about yourself. First off, it's not a question. And secondly, you've just allowed them to start their story from anywhere they want and include everything and anything. You know I hate this. Tell us about yourself is not a question. If you don't know what to do instead, if you don't know how to start your interview, listen to Just the Tip, episode number 19, for help. The second way to save your podcast from being hijacked is to stop it. Stop your episode right on the spot. If your guest is plugging left, right, and center and starts reading from that same script they've read on all the other podcasts they've ever been on, Call your guest out on it. You don't have to be a jerk about it, but it's not out of line for you to say, hey, I just want to interrupt here and hit pause for a second. I know you want to squeeze in your info, but the promotion is getting a little bit heavy. Assure your guest you'll get to their website, their latest offer, or promote their book. But for now, you want to stay on track and focus on delivering the goods to your listener. Remind them that by giving that listener value in the first place, That plug at the end is going to mean so much more. Don't be afraid to do this. Don't be afraid to stop your show. You're protecting your audience here. It's your audience that you worked really hard to get and grow. Now, usually a reasonable guest is like, oh, gee, sorry about that. No problem. And, And you can move on. If they get bent out of shape and it makes things really awkward and weird, then Maybe you have to throw this episode in the garbage, but you'll likely know right away. The third way to save your podcast from being hijacked is to make sure that your guest knows how your show works. This happens before your show starts. You can prevent being hijacked if your guests know what to expect. You don't have to give everything away up front about your show format or your outline, but both of you should be on the same page when it comes to serving your listener and make it clear that they'll get an opportunity to promote when it's time. Number four, if you've been unable to control that guest or you feel uncomfortable about stopping your show and setting them straight and that you feel that they've gotten a little too pitchy on your show and you don't want your listener to experience that, edit it out. Edit those website drops or promotions that they've slipped in, but don't just start hacking up your conversation just because they mentioned their business or service a couple of times. Use your best judgment on that. Editing is also a great way to deal with a rambling guest. When you have a rambling guest and they just seem to take forever to tell their story, if you really want to tighten up your episode, a trick you can do in the moment, and this is really producing on the fly, is to summarize what they've just said and move forward with your next question. For example, if your guest just took six minutes to say something, recap it yourself. Something like, Okay, so you spent four years with Company X and that's when your career peaked. But as soon as investors got scared and pulled out after that market crash of 08, you were stuck in that position with really no place to go. So how did you rebound from that? Again, ideally you can do this on the fly and making notes as you go will help master this technique. Or you can do all of this in post-production quite easily. Just replace all that rambling with your short version and your next question. 
you kind of got to go on instinct here. If you feel your show is being hijacked or you feel your show is dragging on, then take some action. And know this, sidetracked is different from being hijacked. Getting sidetracked can turn out to be a good thing for you, your guest, and your listener. If it's relevant, valuable, or entertaining, and it adds to your conversation, then leave it in. And the fifth way, the fifth way to save your podcast from being hijacked, don't let anybody hear it. Throw it in the garbage. If you feel that your listener will see you as a sellout, or hear you let someone walk all over you, and that you've stopped serving them, they'll leave you. You can't let that happen. Don't air it. Find another guest. Record another episode. The five ways to keep your podcast from being hijacked. Got them? Tell us about yourself is not a question. Stop that guest in their promotional tracks and refocus. Let your guest know how your show works in advance. Edit it out. Or just let that episode crash and burn. Your show and your listener are too important to be stolen by a guest who's long-winded or has their own agenda. Take action to save that episode without being embarrassed or feeling bad to do so. It's your show. And I hope that's just the tip you need. I want to just say a quick shout out to those who have reached out to me by email. When you're asking me questions about your podcast or just saying thanks for the tips, I really appreciate that. I really do. I really love connecting with you guys and it means a lot. So please don't stop. If you haven't reached out to me, do it. I'd love to hear from you. Tell me about your show or tell me about my show, what you love, what you hate or what you need. What would you like to hear more of? What do you want me to cover? Find your favorite way to connect with me through my website at podcastperformancecoach.com. I'm Tim Albert. See ya!